Jumbo friends, we are dining at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, Kadani Village. We are at one of my favorite restaurants on property. We're dining at Sanaa. This is a kind of like Indian African infused, infusion style restaurant. There's lots of delicious food. So let's head on inside and try some stuff. We made it to our table and we have a fantastic view next to the windows so we can see the animals as they go by and our drinks just arrived. I got the Candy Coconut Cooler. This is a Star African Rum, Coconut, Vanilla Ice Cream, and Orange Juice. It sounded nice, light, and refreshing because we are only here for lunch. Yeah, that's really good. I would say the orange juice is really strong, but the vanilla gives it a really nice sweetness. So, like I said, it's a great, refreshing, simple drink. I ended up getting the smoked turkey, which, pro tip, you can also get, I know for sure at least at Boma, it is Wild Turkey 101 Bourbon, Red Stack Black Cherry Bourbon, Grenadine, and Minute Maid Premium Lemonade with a hint of hickory smoke garnished with Luxar Luxardo Cherry and yeah, basically it sounds like their take on like an old fashioned. Oh, that's really good. It's definitely sweet, but it's not like a super fruity cocktail by any means. You do, you get that little hint of that hickory smoke, but it doesn't overpower it. It's not like a smoked cocktail, but you do get a little bit of that kind of back of the throat kind of smoky flavor. When you come to Sanaa, non-negotiable, you have to get the bread service. It is like the number one thing on the menu. You get five different types of bread and nine different sauces ranging from kind of sweet to spicy to savory, all kinds of different flavors. It's a ton of food. It's a great way to start. It's very, very shareable. Uh, we're gonna dig in and we'll let you know what our favorites are later. We just finished our bread service and honestly, it did not stand a chance. We like devoured that thing. I wanted to talk about our favorite sauces and honestly, all of them are so, so good. They're all different, but they all somehow work so well together. Some of our favorites were, I really liked the jalapeno lime one. The roasted garlic one is always great. The hummus, like a smash. All of it is so, so good. And like Kayla said, it's a non-negotiable. Like, did you really come to Sanaa if you didn't get the bread service? Do yourself a favor and get it because it, hands down, it it's so, so, so good. And pro tip, ask for extra naan to go with your meal. favorite things about Sanaa is you can pick lots of different things and kind of mix and match what you want for like your entree. So they have what's called a journey and a harvest. Journey is basically like your meat or your protein and the harvest is more like your think like vegetable kind of stew kind of thing. They do also have like made to order like hamburgers things like that. Um, we wanted more of an authentic experience so I ended up getting the braised beef and the Rajma Masala. Oh my word. It's so good. You get like those traditional, think Indian spices. Very, very tender, very flavorful. Yeah, I love it. Now for the Masala. He said that this is uh, almost like a chili. It's very hot, it's very good. Um, it does have beans in it, so if you're not a beans person, probably don't get the masala. It's really good, very flavorful, much like the uh, 
the braised beef, a lot of the same spices, so that these two go really well together. As far as like if you pick the journey and the harvest, it does come with rice. So good. Really buttery. If you've had like Indian rice before, like you know what flavor I'm talking about, but it's not just your stereotypical like fried rice, white rice. It's it's just different. I don't know how else to explain it, but if you if you've had Indian rice before, you know exactly what flavor I'm talking about. It's so good. So I got the same thing as Mark Allen, but different like components. I got the butter chicken and I got the uh, chickpea, chickpea something. I don't remember, but the chickpea is spicy. So just be aware of that. But I'm gonna do this the right way with my giant piece of naan. <laughs> my favorite way to eat this dish is kind of more traditional of how you would eat Indian food where you kind of almost like create that perfect bite where you get a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this all together scooped up in your naan. So, delicious. It's a big bite. <laughs> All of it is so good. Something I love about Indian food is that, like, kind of sweet and more back of the throat type of spice. And you really get that in all of these dishes. It almost gives it like a creaminess to the flavor. It's just so good. The chicken's really tender. The spices and sauces are delicious. There is a little bit of, like I said, a little bit of the spice to the chickpea. It's not like crazy, crazy spicy, but there is a little bit of a kick. And then when you have that rice, again, just gives it another layer of that like sweetness and a little bit different texture. It's fantastic. This is like one of my favorite meals that you can get at Disney. Good. I think you were the winner here. You you chose better yeah, than I did. I did know what to get. The butter chicken, like honestly, you really can't go wrong with that. It's so, so, so good. Yeah, and the chickpea stuff was really, really good. I've had the lentil before and the lentil's pretty good. It's more like, uh, I think like creamy veggie soup kind of esque is what it reminds me of. But honestly, like truly, I don't think any of it's bad. It's yeah. all delicious. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was just about to say, not not to say that like what I chose was bad by any means. Mine it was, was just better. delicious. Yours was just better. The butter chicken <laughs> is just so good, so tender. Yeah, truly, honestly, even if you're not like super hungry, just come and get the bread service. That is easily a meal on its own, and it's yeah. fantastic. Also, Sanad does do mobile orders, so if you aren't able to get a reservation, you can always do mobile order. Um, they also have a really nice lounge, so this one's actually pretty easy to get reservations for most of the time, but in that off chance that you're not able to, or you decide last minute you want to come, go to the lounge, do the mobile order, all of it, it's delicious. Yeah, who I would recommend this restaurant to is if you are, let's say, at Animal Kingdom, at doing the park all day long, and you just want a nice break out of the heat for like a longer extended period of time, mm -hmm. We always recommend Nomad Lounge for that, but if you want a longer, more luxuriating experience, come over here to Katani Village and check out Sanaa because the food is so good. I would say the food is honestly better than Nomad Lounge. The drinks, uh, okay. You're coming here for the food. Yeah. Nomad Lounge where you go for the drinks. Yes. So. Or you could do both and just make a whole day out of it. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed following along. I know we had a really great time eating the food, but that's all we have for you guys today. Now, now go, go create, create your ever after. after.